anyway. Um, but let's get back to Bill Burr. Yesterday, we watched a video of him going fucking balls to the wall with some crazy takes, uh, destroying uh, a, a, a fan of his that had some really awful takes about him talking about socialism. And there's more. Um, here's another older clip that uh, Zay uh, Squirrel brought up. Here it is. When Bill Maher's show, The Joint is a Ritual, rage whining about woke cancel culture, but instead he went along, instead of going along with Burr, or instead of going along with Maher, Burr mocks him and says he's been a hysterical and, and, freak. you know, I've always enjoyed you. I think you're a great comic. But I thought tonight maybe we would, like, sort of share a cry together because um, I think we have something <laughs> in common, which is that we think political correctness may be ruining comedy or at least threatening it. Because I know you've had your problems with that. And you, you did a routine recently about how women like it rough. And then, of course, the internet police got all over you. Well, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't notice if that happened, because I don't pay attention to it. I don't list, read oh, it comments. Happened. Yeah, they hated you. Yeah, but who did? <laughs> the but this haters. Is my, this is my thing. Who? Like the 20 haters. people? Like 20 people with a hashtag can get right. like a news story going now. And I just, I just don't think, there's no problem. Like the amount of times somebody tells a joke and they'll say that there's a controversy at a comedy club. That's funny is they'll show the clip on the news and like you hear the crowd laughing. So the comic is basically guilty of telling a joke that worked. Right. You know what well, I mean? And then if you put it on the news, yeah, it's gonna be a completely different uh, context. But I mean, I don't go on stage and worry about what people are thinking. Right. It's a really weird time where people are just bringing this up all the time like this is a major problem. I haven't, I'm not experiencing it. I think it's like a half a dozen stories and like usual they're trying to act like, you know, the, the sky is falling. It isn't. It's a right. fun time. Come out to a comedy club. You know, you'll have a good time. It's all jokes. Right. Um, and to undergo, I mean, Chris Rock says he won't play colleges anymore because they're too politically correct. Um, Daniel. You just ignore them. It's like three days. They flip out for three days. They try to bully you into an apology. Well, you can't ignore them when they're right in the audience and you're playing to them. You tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, believe it's me. It's a comedy you know what? show. That's all you do. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it, it's like... Sweetheart, I do it here every week. It's, uh, it's you don't manufactured have to tell me. strategic outrage. Right. Then forget it. Let's not have a good cry together. <laughs> but as long Is that as not what you wanted as long out as of this? As long as we're on the subject. <laughs> Look at him. He's just fucking bouldering him. Yeah, that's not what you want out of that. Um, remember, he talked about uh, Kenosha. He talked about Kyle Rittenhouse being a fucking freak. He was right about that, too. And uh, he's still he's still fucking daggering with uh, some truth bombs here where he talks about Hillary Clinton. But, like... Um... This is from his latest uh, Monday morning podcast. On Monday, how are you? Bill... Bill... Old Billy bitch tits talking about cancer culture. No, no, not this time, sweetheart. Sherry's berries. Welcome back to the Monday morning podcast on Monday. At the top of the hour, there's a 60 second ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, guess what? All you need to do is subscribe, huh? Some of you motherfuckers don't want to do that, and that's fine. But you're going to see an ad. Womack for the 10 gifted subs allowing 10 guys to no longer see the ads either. You just sound like the mom from Bob's Burgers. You'll have him on in no time. Dude, the only reason why I can do a decent Bill Burr impression is because I'm a fan. What do you mean? Zip Recruiter! All right, I'm running the fucking ad break now.
You kind of just sound like him already too, Lamau. Sometimes I hear Bill Burr when you're getting fired up. If you could do a casual impression without raising your volume so much, it would make the shouting off mic bit absolutely perfect. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, um, Did you cover the Ukrainian war already? Wait, what? Brother, I've been covering it every day. I'm going to talk about Iran today, too, because I heard some fucking insane shit. All right. You know, all of this shit that they stir up your feelings about other countries or, or, or the racist that Trump stirs up. You know what I mean? These fucking, like, just straight up people that walk around saying the fucking N-word and shit. Um, and, like, you really have to try and not listen to those people and get caught under their fucking bullshit because they're, 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 they don't, they don't have your best interest. And, you know, Hillary Clinton, I don't think there was, there's no difference. She's just as evil as Trump. She's just smarter. <laughs> she just knows how to say what she's saying. Um, you know, but you know what she's doing. Okay. Look, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to get into this shit, but like, you know, that shit that people are saying online going, hey, so you got the Epstein guy and you got the person that booked the island, but what about that list of people of all the people that went there? And they're protecting those people and they got rid of the people that were going to expose them. I mean, I mean, it's, it's really not conspiracy theory. It's kind of right there if you want to see it. Um... Yeah, it's and you know, liberals love a guy that I gotta be careful so I don't get in trouble, but like liberals love a guy that like went there allegedly like twenty fucking times. They still love the guy. They they love a guy that drone bombed weddings. So like I don't see them as liberal, progressive fucking people. And then on the right, you know, what they're showing me is fucking toothless racist so i don't even know where the fuck i stand right now but uh you know they can't stop me from enjoying my day and trying to be a nice person and enjoying being a father you know if that's what you want to do you want to stick all my money on my phone and fucking control where i spend it fine does that make you happy does that make you dick hard i don't give a fuck because life is flying by and all you can, they, they can't, you can't stop time, you know. All you can do is enjoy yourself. So just don't be a cunt. There's a fucking line weight in it. Fucking asshole. All right. 1970s commercials. Um, hi, Bill. We are roughly the same age. And I figured 1975 would be some of our earliest memories of commercials. And I was right. See how many of these things ring. Okay, none of this none of this implies that I'm actually going to I mean, he's just saying the exact same things that I've said time and time again, chatter, but this doesn't mean that he's going to come on the show. I thought he like openly was talking about like this this fucking guy on Twitter. He just performed for a charity event my girlfriend was involved in and he bombed and got pissed off at the audience for not laughing. Hey, listen. Again, not everyone is perfect. Like, of course he's going to have some imperfections, brother. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Bill Burr punched me in the mouth and called me a loser for watching House on Ivy Real. Um, maybe Ethan can help after his interview. I don't know if he has a connection anymore. No, Ethan literally had another one where he was actually fine. Uh, I think like he did two. He did two. And that's it.
Anyway, here, let's continue. Bill was on H3 four and three years ago. Yeah, he, he's done two. The second one was better, apparently. They were way more, like, agreeable with one another. Um, Ronda Santis, dude, what a bad bitch, okay? What a fucking bad bitch, all right? This is the real photo. This is the fake one. This bitch made it illegal to say gay in Florida. <laughs> That's a good one. I mean, he's serving. He's serving cunt. I'll just say it. I'll say it because people are afraid of saying it, okay? He's in his slut era. Bro is in his slut era. He, he too. Auntie uncovered a damning clip. It's draft for me. He looks like an old video game, the inside of an old video game cartridge. Like, if you're gonna go colorful, you don't have to go, I mean, I don't know, I don't like it. It's